Hey love, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Naraya Omari and I picked up this camera today right in the moment because this is why I started my channel to talk about real life in real life moments. I feel like a lot of people want to motivate people once they've gotten through what they're already going through and they came out on top of it. Well, I don't really have time to wait until I'm on top of the problem. I don't know when that's going to happen. I know it's going to happen, but I don't know when it's going to happen. So while I'm right here in the moment, I do feel the motivation and the inspiration to speak to others too. And what I want to say is don't be afraid to break down. Don't shy away from the breakdown. People want to put on a good face and, you know, make it seem like they have everything all figured out. They've got it all put together. Everybody wants to put on this front to the world like they're okay all the time or like things have always been great. And I'm not saying that you need to put all of your business out there. And I'm not saying that you need to like, you know, just embarrass yourself or anything like that. I understand why people want to be private and reserved and not share everything with the world. But at the same time, when it's just you alone in that mirror, do not be afraid to completely break down. Do not be afraid to be afraid. Do not be afraid to be confused. Do not be afraid to admit those things to yourself, at least. You don't have to admit it to everybody else, but I feel like it's very powerful to be self-aware. It's very powerful to know when you're struggling. It's very powerful to know when you need help. It's very powerful to know when you need to change. And I've only gotten to this point where like I'm comfortable breaking down because I've done it so many times. And every time I do it, I know that I come out stronger. Every time I do it, I know that I'm okay. So I'm no longer like afraid to break down. I'm not afraid to be afraid. I'm not afraid to make it seem like I don't know what's going on. I'm not afraid to be confused. I'm not afraid of any of that because I know that like I go through these cycles. I go through these ups and downs and I'm starting to embrace the ups and downs of life because it's inevitable and I am grateful actually that I've gotten to this point where it's like all right I've been through this so many times that I know that even if I'm low right now I have enough faith. I have enough belief in myself to know that things are going to pick right back up and I'm going to start to figure things out and I'm going to start to get over my fears and I'm going to start to learn and I'm going to start to grow and I'm going to start to behave differently. I'm going to start to move differently. And when I start moving differently, I'm going to start feeling differently. And when I feel differently, I'm going to look differently. When I look differently, I'm going to show up differently and it's all going to work out. That's what all, that's like what I'm saying. Everything is going to work out. But if you don't embrace those struggle moments, if you don't admit to yourself that you're struggling and that you need to do something different, if you don't run right into it, if you don't just... And it's not giving up. I'm not saying give up because don't ever give up. I'm not saying give up, but I'm saying sometimes it's okay to just like be vulnerable. It's okay to be weak in the moment and admit that like, damn, I don't know what the fuck is going on. And that's like the realest shit that I could ever say. Just be honest with yourself and be like, girl, you don't know what you're doing. And that's okay. It's okay for me to not know what I'm doing because I know I'm going to figure it out. That's all that I wanted to say. Really? That's like the synopsis. That's the little summary of what I wanted to say. But really use that as motivation and be honest with yourself and be real with yourself and gain that self-awareness. I feel like a lot of people can't face themselves. A lot of people can't face their demons and their flaws. And a lot of people don't want to look at themselves and see themselves for what they are. And I feel like looking at myself and seeing myself when I'm a mess is going to make me look at myself and appreciate myself that much more when everything gets back beautiful again and don't let that go over your head because i'm not even talking about anything physical i'm talking about deep like within me like i feel like all right now this is step one recognizing that i'm fucked up is step one to get my shit together and that's just like the realest that's the realest thing that you could do for yourself if you can't even admit that girl you need to get it together you got to change then it's just like you're not gonna change and i'm so grateful to like just be in this place where i have this perspective and i just want to share that with others because i've only gotten here by going through it so many times now before when i used to cry and i'll get down and i'll be like in a low state i used to freak out and think i'm gonna be like this forever now i know enough to know that it doesn't last forever when people used to say that, I used to be like, so when's it going to end? Like, 
Okay, you're telling me it doesn't last forever. But when you're in it and when you're feeling it, it feels like, damn, like I'm going to be this way forever. Things are never going to get better. When is it going to get better? How is it going to get better? All you have to do is have faith that it's going to get better. And little by little, things will start unfolding and things will start to get better. And that's just a life lesson. You got to learn life. I'm here to teach life. I'm not here to be cute. I'm not here to show a maintenance vlog. I'm not here to show all the glitz and glam. You could get that on a lot of other channels. But on this channel, I'm going to be real and I'm going to speak life. I'm going I'm to be real and I'm going to speak about life. I'm going to tell y'all what's real life. Because there's a lot of people that's fabricating a lot of things on these YouTube channels. And that's not me. <laughs> The whole point of me ever starting a channel was to show real life. And I'm going to show y'all the complete journey from beginning to end. And whoever went me in the end, y'all going to see.